Well, just a few minutes ago, I spoke to uh, Luis Moreno Ocampo, the chief prosecutor for the International Criminal Court. He's in Los Angeles. He told me that the video confirms a pattern of behavior from Ahmed Haroun. Ahmed Haroun was a member of the leaders in Sudan who attacked the civilians in Darfur in 2003-2005. He basically attacked and killed everyone. The, court, the International Criminal Court issued an arrest warrant against him in 2007. After that, he became the governor of South Kordofan. And the, well, I have no jurisdiction in South Kordofan. I cannot do a new case. But the video saying take no prisoner is confirming the pattern. Taking no prisoner means a crime against humanity or a war crime. Because if a prisoner was a combatant, it's a war crime. If a prisoner was a civilian, it was a crime against humanity. In both cases, confirm the pattern that Mr. Haroun should be arrested and brought before the International Criminal Court to stop the crimes. Khartoum argues that uh, the comments have been mistranslated, misinterpreted, that they were meant purely to, to rally the troops. So what would, uh, uh, how would international law interpret them? Now, a commander has a responsibility to ensure that his troops are not violating the law. He cannot encourage them to commit crimes. That's why we are prosecuting Jean-Pierre Bemba in the International Criminal Court, because he did not control his troops. So a commander had not provided incentive to his troops to attack. But in fact, more interestingly, the fact that the government is making this alibi show that what Harun is doing is part of a policy approved by the president of the country. That's why President Bashir is also indicted by the, for the same crimes. Because all of them, the leaders, President Bashir, Minister Hussein and Harun, the three of them commit the same crimes in Darfur and now they keep the same policy in the south. They are attacking their own people. So what can the ICC actually these are crimes. do about this though i mean how how can it get these people into the custody of the court as any court in uk or in any country in, in in qatar the judges give orders and the police and the army has to arrest them that's why that food case in sudan is complicated because the president of the country is indicted so the police or the army has to arrest the president of the country and the Ministry of defense that's why it's a case that requests a lot of support and the international decision but that, that's why i think this video confirming that harun is still committing crime show the cost of impunity if you let a person like harun became the governor of south kordofan and you're making deal with him as the international committee is doing with him then you are part of the killing. You are part of crime against humanity. That is why this video should be a red signal to the international community. It's time to top. The international community reacts so, so, so strongly in the Libya case. They are doing all these efforts in Syria. But the Haroun case, the Darfur case, is a test. If we solve well Darfur case, then all the other cases will, will learn the lesson.